It's another exciting year for smartphones and some of you may have already saved up for a new one this year. But if you're a kind of person that doesn't really care about the latest smartphone features and want to save some cash, watch on and we'll tell you the best 2017 smartphones you can still buy right now. First off, the Xiaomi Mi A1. One of the best mid-range smartphones is now the most affordable device that runs Android Oreo. The phone is powered by a Snapdragon 625 processor along with 4GB of RAM, which is still very capable of running apps and most games. Despite only having a mere 3080mAh battery, the phone easily lasts a full working day on a single charge. Not to forget to mention, it now supports Quick Charge 3.0 after the update to Android Oreo. The Mi A1 has a dual camera system that offers 2x optical zoom. It takes 12 megapixel photos with an f2.2 to 2.6 aperture range, which in our test, it is rather decent by its class when taking photos in good lighting conditions, but not too great when it comes to low light. Furthermore, some online retailers are already selling the Mi A1 at cheaper prices, so it's really a no-brainer to consider the Mi A1 if you have less than 1000 ringgit to spend on a new smartphone. Moving on, the HTC U Ultra is one device that you shouldn't miss if you are looking at great audio quality on a smartphone. This may not be the most popular device back in 2017, as it was overpriced at 3000 ringgit, which is hardly attractive for a smartphone that uses a Snapdragon 821 processor while lacking a headphone jack, IP68 water resistance, and having a paltry 3000mAh battery. However, the U Ultra can now be purchased for as low as 1399 ringgit, and there are a few things to love about the U Ultra. First of all, the Boom Sound Hi Fi speakers are still the best in class smartphone speakers for music listening, and the U Sonic headphones that come in the package will impress anyone in terms of audio quality. The U Ultra also has a great camera, which I've used to take photos during one of my trips this year, and you really can't get picture quality this great on a similar price device today. If you care a lot about smartphone and camera performance but don't want to break the bank, then you should definitely check out the Honor 8 Pro. The phone is powered by a Kirin 960 processor and comes with 6GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. The phone was well received back in our review as it features a large 4000mAh battery and 5.7 inch display that Huawei's P10 Plus didn't offer. The Honor 8 Pro's dual camera system may not be as powerful as the P10 and the more recent Mate 10 but it can still take on challenging lighting conditions without much issues. As for price, some retailers are already selling the phone as low as 1600 ringgit, and the price could go down even further once the more powerful Honor View 10 goes on sale. If a slick smartphone is what you are after, take a look at the Moto Z2 Play, one of the slickest smartphones we have seen last year and if you can forgive its mid-range specs, the phone has one feature that no other smartphone has the ability to expand functionality with model mods, which are useful accessories you can attach to the back for added functionality. My favorite mods are the projector mod and the Hasselblad True Zoom camera mod. Though expensive, they are actually worth investing for expanding the phone's features. Furthermore, the Moto Z2 Play has also received a price cut as some online retailers are already selling it as low as 1600 ringgit. The list of great smartphones in 2017 could go on forever. So here's the last one that I could recommend and even though I haven't had the chance to review yet, the Galaxy Note FE is one device you shouldn't miss if you urgently need a phone with a stylus. Call it a refurbished or the safe version of the Note 7. The Note FE still offers many great productivity features that is very much on par with the more expensive Note 8. The phone has gotten a price cut early this year at 2199 ringgit, and obviously, some online retailers are already selling the phone cheaper than usual. What do you think about these smartphones? Tell me about it in the comment section and if you have a better recommendation, tell me about it as well. So subscribe and share this video with your friends if you find it useful and be sure to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon next to it to be notified of new uploads every week. I'm Warren with KL Gadget TV and I will see you soon in the next video.